Hi, Cindy. If there's anyone still skeptical of the impact of the COVID-19 virus on Maine, those additional deaths and then the governor's stay-at-home order should be a powerful message. That order is a sort of enforced social distancing on all of us. That's a step that the Maine CDC has been pleading with Mainers to take for a couple of weeks. Underway. For CDC and Director Dr. Nirav Shah, another world. sad announcement. Maine CDC is reporting that two individuals who had tested positive for COVID-19 have passed away. Those two victims were both in the hospital, one at Maine General in the Augusta area, the other in York County. Both were women in their 80s. And it's a sign, says Dr. Shah, of the continued spread of the virus. York and Cumberland counties have been considered places of community transmission since last week. But now other Maine counties may be joining that list. Three counties across the state that have more than 10 cases. In addition to those that we have already noted, Androscoggin County, Kennebec County, and Penobscot County now have over 10 cases. I mention that because having over 10 cases is one of the two criteria that we use when investigating whether community transmission is occurring. Dr. Shah has already predicted that, exactly that more parts right. of Maine right will now, become places where people forward, catch the virus from each other. It is almost inevitable that it will spread to all, every quarter of the state. All of this, of course, putting more pressure on Maine hospitals and health care workers. Even a small hospital like Lincoln Health in Damariscotta now has a tent set up just outside the emergency room, ready in case there is a surge of coronavirus cases. Dr. Shah said with continuing concerns over protective equipment and a growing caseload, it's a hard time for those in health care. Having spoken with clinicians, critical care physicians across the state, um, it's a challenge. They are, of course, facing challenges on some of the things that we're aware of, like the availability of protective equipment. That's something we're hoping to help them with as much as we can, recognizing that it's a valuable but essential resource. But I also think we should pause to recognize the emotional toll that caring for critically ill patients, especially high numbers of critically ill patients, places on all members of the hospital community. A burden that looks like it will only increase in the days and weeks ahead. In those briefings over the last couple of weeks, as we mentioned, Dr. Shah has said over and over again that the one thing that Mainers can really do is keep apart social distance. The governor's order now is a way to try to force that to happen. Cindy, back to you. All right, Don, thank you so much.